happy said, I'm Emily Sullivan. Um, thank you for coming out for a second cold night. Um, it's not quite as snowy as it was yesterday, but um, thank you for being here, and thank you, Abby, for hosting the work and just being a fixture in the arts community here, providing so many great opportunities for us as artists. You do great work. Um, so I wanted to start with just a little bit of background about myself and kind of um, how my work has evolved over the years, and then I'll talk a little bit more specifically about this body of work here. Um, so I went to undergrad at Xavier University in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm from Ohio originally. Um, and I started landscape painting when for my the undergrad thesis work. Um, so that work was inspired by a cross-country bike trip that my family had done. So in the summer of 2013, we rode our bikes across the country from coast to coast. And that trip really inspired me to start landscape painting and really inspired um, my undergrad thesis work. And I found out about the Hudson River School painters who painted in the 19th century and kind of were some of the first of American landscape painters. And they kind of really inspired my, my journey into landscape painting. And Following uh, my graduation, I received a grant from Xavier University, um, it's called the Bergman Fellowship, and I embarked in 2015 on another cross-country trip, though this time not on a bike. Um, I took my mom's minivan and I plain air painted across the country, following the Hudson River School artists. So I started in New York, New York in the Catskills, where Frederick Church and um, Thomas Cole had painted, and then I went out to Yellowstone, where Thomas Moran worked, and finally ended up in Yosemite, where um, Albert Bierstadt painted. And if you don't know about plein air painting, um, it comes from a French term en plein air, which means in open air. So it basically means painting outside. So I had an Osprey backpack that I put all my portable paint stuff in, and I would go on hikes to kind of find the view I wanted and um, paint outside. And it was just a really awesome way for me to marry kind of my personal interest in being outside and hiking and being in the natural landscape and also painting. Um, and it's just a different kind of experience than being in your studio because you're responding very immediately to what's happening around you. If there's a storm coming in, you have to hustle to get out of there. And, you know, it's windy, your stuff might blow over. So it's, it's a really interesting um, experience and different from, I find, being in the studio and a more, um, you have a very immediate need to kind of get down what you're looking at. So following that, I decided um, I wanted to pursue an MFA. So in the fall of 2016, I moved out to Fort Collins, Colorado, and um, pursued an MFA in painting at Colorado State University. Um, and I kind of talk about my work shifting during that time as um, I started painting a lot of clouds and skyscapes, and I thought of kind of the landscape, but I like shifted the view up a little bit. I kind of just like shifted the lens up. Um, and during this time I was living, my husband's in the army, um, and he was deployed, he was living in North Carolina. Um, so we were doing the long distance thing for a few years. And so I was kind of thinking about the sky as this place that was um, kind of a, a universal place and something that, you know, the sun rises every day and sets every day. And I found a lot of comfort in kind of, not the sky as being a placeless place, but a, sky, but a place that could be any place. That, if that makes sense. Um, so I had a really great experience at CSU. Um, I learned a lot and I learned especially a lot about um, contemporary painting and kind of placing my work in a more contemporary space than I had in my undergrad experience. Um, and I found uh, painters Lois Dodd, um, Byron Kim. There's another painter, Bo Carey, who works in New Mexico, who I really love his work. Um, and so just, I had, had a really great experience and learned a ton there. Um, and then in the summer of 2019, I moved to Colorado Springs um, and was able to kind of immerse myself in this arts community, which is a fantastic arts community here. Um, and I continued with those skyscape paintings. Um, and especially during the pandemic, um, I think I started to think a little bit more about the more specifically about the place I was at. So not necessarily needing just that sky imagery to kind of talk about the things I wanted to talk about, um, but we were also in one place that I really started to just kind of pay attention to exactly where I was. Um, 
and how I spend my time in Colorado Springs. So this body of work has been in the works for about a year. Um, I started doing these paintings last March. Um, that's part of this piece, Spring Follows Winter. And kind of the, the main inspiration or kind of um, anchor of the show, I think, is this quote by author Amy Dillard. And she says, how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. And so I started to just really think about like how, like what do, what do I see when I'm going about my daily life in Colorado Springs? You know, what is my, what are the views I'm seeing a lot and things like that. And so I really wanted to just kind of key into this kind of everyday experience of place here where I live. Um, and kind of this daily life versus the grand vistas as well. So in kind of that original inspiration I had with the Hudson River School painters, you know, they were seeking the, the very beautiful, the most pristine views and, you know, these untouched, unflawed landscapes. And, well, there's nothing wrong with that. And I even have, you know, some very beautiful mountain paintings back there. Um, I, again, just wanted to kind of focus in on this daily experience place. Um, so I started with this piece, like I said, I started by painting the backs of them and the edges of them. And I knew that I wanted the color shifts to speak to an element of shifting time. So of time passing over this course of a year. Um, and then I started gathering these daily, or not quite daily photos, um, of different places just as I was in Colorado Springs. Um, and so you can kind of see how that evolves as the seasons change. So the, it starts with spring and ends with winter. So the spring images, there's a lot of, you know, kind of flowers that are coming into bloom, um, leaves with trees on them, or trees with leaves on them, um, as things are kind of coming back to life in the spring. And then you can see them evolve um, through the summer, um, fall, and winter. And each of these has a, is kind of a splice of a season. So each one of them has um, images from all four seasons on them. Um, and then I had, um, oh, oh um, and so then after these were kind of coming together and I was working on them over the course of the year, um, I started to think about what larger pieces I would maybe want to accompany this big piece that I had kind of already figured out how I wanted it to look. Um, and so I wanted to continue with this idea of seasons and place and things changing, um, but also changing in the same place. So the two pieces back there came together, which those are both views from my apartment patio. Um, and it's the same view, but different seasons. So the one on the left is from the summer, the one on the right is from the winter, um, which is kind of cool because as it snowed this week, I'm like, that's my painting <laughs> as I'm looking out my patio. Um, and then I also wanted to do views for my studio. So again, just really thinking about what, where are the places I spend the most time and what are the things I kind of look at the most in Colorado Springs. And again, it's this, the view from the window in my house and the view from my studio. Um, I have a studio at Cottonwood Center for the Arts. Um, and so these, the edges of these um, kind of correlate with the edges of these paintings, again, to kind of speak to this passage of time um, from spring to winter. And then finally, I have these three plein air pieces that I did um, over the summer at a residency in the San Luis Valley. And while they aren't specific to Colorado Springs, I do really like the idea of plein air painting as really fitting into conceptually this idea of moments in place um, or this, you know, kind of small period of time in a place and um, trying to capture it and get it down um, in the painting before the elements and light and things change too much and um, you can't really get it down anymore. Um, so even though those aren't, weren't physically done in Colorado Springs, I do like how the idea of plein air painting kind of plays in with um, the rest of the work. So that is all I have. Um, if anybody has any questions, I would be very happy to answer them.